Today on MTG Unpacked, we are joined by everybody's favourite horrifying clown, Pennywise, to do the pack blessing duties. He ain't clowning around, he is going to get us some crazy pulls. So let's see how we do today, and if he does not, he will be back on the pop shelf in no time. So let's start off with Oath of the Gatewatch. And Pennywise is actually on loan from my other YouTube channel, that is Pop Sideshow. We open all ma manner of Funko Pop figures and we have some crazy skits there as well. So you might want to check that out or leave a link in the description for this video. So let's start off with an Ancient Crab Expedite, Searing Light, Zulaport Chain Mage, Elemental Uprising, Sky Scourer, Boulder Salvo, Holdout Settlement, Blinding Drone, Kozilex Pathfinder, and the Uncommons. We have a Submerged Boneyard, which if I'm not mistaken, I think is getting reprinted pretty soon. We get a Flayer Drone, Tears of Valakut, and the rare is a Stone Forge Masterwork. I do not know if I've ever come across this one. So this is an artifact equipment for one. Equipped creature gets plus one plus one for each other creature you control that shares a creature type with it. And equip cost is two. Okay, so that is pretty nice if you've got a big tribal thing going on. Pump up your creatures there. And a nice full art mountain and an Eldrazi Scion token. Okay, let's uh, move this around a little differently. I don't like to mix the sets up. Makes the sorting rather difficult. We have Aether Revolt next. These are in no particular order because Pennywise thrives on chaos. Next up we have Ali Evasion, Chandra's Revolution, Metallic Rebuke. Lifecraft Cavalry, Renegades Getaway, High Spire Infusion, Implement of Malice, Filigree Crawler, and an Upside Down card. Let's flip that around real quick. Watchful Automaton, and for the Uncommons we get an Aeronaut Admiral Ornithopter, Pima Ethersear, and the rare is a Green Belt Rampager. This is a dirty big elephant. 3-4 for a single forest. When it enters battlefield, pay 2 energy. And if you can't, return it to its owner's hand and you get 1 energy. Alright, so I guess you could be cashing in mana for energy. Leave a note in the comments if that's something you have done previously. And, ooh, ooh, I was wondering if we got a foil. The count seemed a bit off there. We get a nice foil planes. And another planes. And a servo token. Alright, so not bad getting a foil there. From Kaladesh, or, no, actually not Kaladesh. That was Ether Revolt. Next up we have Amonkhet. So we are going to pull an invocation today, aren't we, Mr. Pennywise? Yes, an invocation. How about that? That would be fantastic. We get a Cartouche of Solidarity, Cartouche of Knowledge, Unburden, Quarry Hauler, Cartouche of Ambition. We're getting all the Cartouches today. Fantastic. Shimmer Scale Drake. Cradle of the Accursed. That looks pretty cool. Oshra Cultivator. Electrify. Bontu's Monument is the first of the uncommons. Defiant Great Moor. Dirty Big Hippo with a yawning mouth. Watchers of the Dead. And Rare is a Vizier of Many Faces. Zero Zero for four mana creature. Shapeshifter Cleric. You may have Vizier of many faces enter the battlefield as a copy of any creature on the battlefield, except if it was embalmed. Okay, except if Vizier of many faces was embalmed, the token has no mana cost, it's white, and it's a zombie in addition to its other types. Okay, that confused me for a second there. 
and the embalm cost is three and two islands. Okay, not the best. Ah, but we do get a nice foil essence scatter, instant for two, counter target creature spell. Always handy for those control players. And a swamp and a warrior token. Uh, Pennywise, what is going on? Let's see if he can do any better in Kaladesh. This is not looking good, mister. I think your bark is worse than your bite. We get a Wayward Giant, Tassel Dromedary, Revolutionary Rebuff, Thriving Grubs. What are those little fellas getting up to? High Spire, Artisan, Ambitious Etherborn, Torch Gauntlet, Hunt the Weak, Sky Skiff, Wind Drake, and for the uncommons we have a Chief of the Foundry, Brazen Scourge, there's those rotten gremlins again, Elegant Edge Crafters, and the rare is a Lath New Hellion, Creature Hellion 4-4 for three mana with haste. When it enters the battlefield, you get two energy, and at the beginning of your end step, sacrifice it unless you pay two energy. Okay, so it gives and it takes. So pretty much, yeah, you have to keep paying two energy each turn. That's a little bit annoying, but leave a note in the comments if you've had great success with this guy. And we get a planes and an ad. Oh wow, we have a bigger story, more cards, more strategy, magic jewels. Pity they discontinued that. Was that something you played back in the day? That was pretty good. Hour of Devastation next. Last pack for this video, the dream of five packs full of masterpieces has been shattered, but we still have a chance to get an invocation here. We get Kindled Fury, Spellweaver Eternal, Dauntless Avon, Firebrand Archer, Oasis Ritualist, Ritualist, there's a mouthful, Kenra Eternal, Traveler's Amulet, Striped Riverwinder, Desert of the Indomitable, Ruin Rat, there we go, we've got a rat, a 1-1 one, one for 2 mana with Death Touch when it dies, Exile Target card from an opponent's graveyard, look at that magnificent creature. And for the uncommons we have Magmaroth, Gideon's Defeat, Consign to Oblivion, just like my dreams of masterpieces in this video, but maybe next time, and rare is Kefnet's last word. So this is a sorcery for four. Gain control of target artifact, creature, or enchantment. Lands you control don't untap during your next untap step. So that comes with a price. Not sure if that's that fantastic, but maybe the big control players have other ideas. If you do, leave a note in the comments. And a planes, and a nice Earthshaker Kenra token. Not sure that I have too many of these. Zombie Jackal Warrior. Alright, so that's it. Pennywise, you let us down. Very disappointed. You're going to go back on the pop shelf. Goodbye, sir. So I hope you enjoyed this video, even if there weren't any crazy pulls. If you did, give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button for more Magic the Gathering unboxings and be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. Thanks for watching and have a great day.